What up, what up world, this is your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around I'm gonna talk about why taking care of yourself is important for being creative. Stay tuned. So recently I released a book for creators with anxiety called Fake Blues, Creating in the Face of Anxiety. And in chapter one, I talk about how to put your oxygen mask on first. So in this chapter, I talk about how I felt like it was my job to take care of my family. It was a part of my mission. It was something that I needed to do in order to prove myself in the world. I needed to become successful and then use that success to build leverage for my family. So create jobs or give income to the family or make sure that everybody has a house and their bills are paid for and things of that nature. Like I wanted to be that sole provider for my family. The problem was is that I wasn't taking care of myself and that was the missing part of the equation. So in the chapter, I tell a story about how I messed up my chance to be on MTV and talk to Sway and Ja Rule. So I felt like this was my moment. This was my opportunity to shine in the world and I totally screwed it up. This is what happened. At the time, I was working full time, I was going to school full time, and I was pursuing music full time. So that's three full time things and there's only 24 hours in a day. So you have to understand like I was way over index and I was incredibly stressed out. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was thinking about all the success that I wanted to take care of other people but it was draining me. It was causing so much stress, so much anxiety that I, I finally crumbled and my body started to shut down on me. So once my body started to shut down on me, I felt it all the way in my gut and that's what gave out. I found out later that I had a parasite that had taken hold of my gut and because I was so stressed out, I had no way to fight it off. So in the midst of all this, I spent a lot of time in the ER and went home later that night with antibiotics and a prescription for orange Gatorade. Like that's, that's all you could really do is take antibiotics and drink plenty of fluids. I was so exhausted from all this that I had to go to bed right away. So when I woke up the next morning, I was going through my emails like I normally do and I found one from MTV and I was like, well, what is this? This must be a scam. This can't be good news. This can't be anything that I'm expecting. And lo and behold, it actually was from MTV. It said Sway had seen my video on your.mtv.com and he wanted to talk to me. He had Ja Rule in the studio and they wanted to get me on Skype. All of that was really, really dope and I was excited to do it, but there was a problem. So here's the problem, I woke up way too late. So by the time I got the opportunity to email MTV back, I was already too late. I had to watch the entire program happen without me. Yes, they gave some love to my song Breakfast and Biggie, it got praise from Sway and Ja Rule, but I had missed my opportunity. So I missed my opportunity to talk to the world, to talk directly to Ja Rule, to talk directly to Sway. This whole time I could have given my side of the story and connected with the audience and built a relationship with these two stars that I've been idolizing all my life. I missed that opportunity all because I wasn't taking care of myself. And here's the moral of the story. When you're on an airplane and they start to give you the instructions for the flight, they tell you that if the oxygen mask pop in front of your face, that you should put yours on before you attempt to put it on for your neighbors or your children. Simply what they're telling you is that you can't take care of anybody else if you're deprived of your own oxygen. This is everything that I talk about in chapter one. I wasn't taking care of myself. I had no oxygen to breathe and therefore I couldn't take care of anybody else. I had to put me first. I had to put my creativity first. I had to do all the things that I needed to do to make sure that I was good so I can make other people good too. And that doesn't mean you neglect people or treat people badly. That just means that you take care of everything that you need to take care of so you have an abundance to give to other people. This is the same thing that I think about with creativity. 
if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not in a happy mood, you're not in a mood to be creative, you're not in a mood to make a new song, you're not just in a good place where you can give to the world. And giving from an empty cup is, is ridiculous. So you have to put your oxygen mask on first. I learned from that MTV opportunity and so I started cutting things out of my life left and right. I quit the job, I put off school for a little bit, and that gave me the opportunity to be more creative, double down on my business, double down on my passion, and travel around and get an understanding of how I can contribute to the world with my creative work. Being creative is for you to feel good first. And if you don't feel good, like I said before, you can't make the world feel good too. So if you got something from this video, be sure to pick up my book, Fake Blues, Creating in the Face of Anxiety. The link is down in the description at wordplaytj.com book. So that's it. I'm going to continue this series for all nine chapters of the book. So be prepared, be ready, because every single one of them is a jewel and a tool that I've used to create even though I have anxiety in my life. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. I'd be glad to answer them. If you want to know more about the book, leave that down in the comment section too. So until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so I know you came to watch this channel just to see this video, just to get this problem solved. What I do urge you to do is subscribe to this channel right over there. And then there's more videos on this page right now.